Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new video, I'm back with another one inside my room and this will probably be one of the last videos in this room, if not the last ever because I have now got a date for when we are moving well, two dates it's, it's a weekend and it's either the 22nd or the 23rd of July Today is the third, so I've got less than three weeks to pack all of this, but luckily I've made a bit of a start, so by a bit of a start I mean I have gone and all that, I've got some random stuff out of drawers, like cables, I was just trying to think like all the examples, like cables and batteries and all that just chucked it in a box there's no one underneath here got such and I've just sort of taped that up also done all the teddies that we decided to put in storage because we got like I think we got 98 of the teddies excluding the baby Yodas so that's them sort of I've taken them already to the storage unit just because we think if we try to get a mortgage in the next year or so, they're only going to be in there a year. And they're all boxed up, so it should be fine. And they're all labelled. And then I've got some more over there, which I need to pack. We've got some big ones that won't go in boxes, so they'll have to just go in a car on the day. But that's fine. And then another thing I've done is I've also taken all my girlfriend's Disney Funko Pops. And I've put them in one of the plastic tubs up here, which I usually keep under the bed. And my next task, which I'm going to probably do later on today, I might do some, just sort of give me a bit of a head start, is I'm probably going to do either DVDs, basically pack both the DVD boxes, put that box like up there temporarily, then move the shelf out of the way, move the bedside cabinet out of the way, move the bed more towards me, and then put the bedside cabinet on the other side, and then... I can now stick some boxes down there, like sort where teddies are at the moment, so it means that it then keeps this area clear. Behind the door's a little bit clearer now, so that's quite nice. I can actually put my work bag somewhere. So that's good. I need to take that coat rack down as well at some point. Like I've got to take all these shelves down. But yeah, I need to we and McGuffin need to talk about the Lego because we need to get that sorted out ideally next week because yeah that's going to be a bit awkward with the move because we're dog sitting in early August but we're moving in late July but it's like too far to sort of move Hiccup from one to the other like keep him there for a month so we need to decide what we're going to do with Hiccup in that time it would be good to move because we'll get him used to his carrier but it stresses them out a lot, so yeah. But it's like that. We can then drop off like the Lego. The main ones I'd drop off. I think I've gone over is like Daily Bugle, the Millennium, and Hog Hogwarts, as well as the Sanctum over there, and maybe like a few other ones like the X Wing, the Raider Crest, the Starfighter, and then the other ones like the Friends set. I'm probably gonna like break into smaller pieces, maybe put them into like sandwich bags. And then put them in a box and like label each bag like what set it is. At least then it makes it a little bit easier. I know what I'm doing. And they shouldn't cross so when we come to rebuilding them, it makes it a little bit easier. But this one here is so much easier because it's literally just a big platform. I can just take all the other little bits off and just Yeah, it makes it a little bit simpler. Whereas also a bit like the Sanctum and Daily Bugle. Yeah, which it's quite funny because even though I brought that set for myself, my girlfriend built it. My voice went, yeah, my girlfriend built it. So he's like, oh, okay. So I've not actually seen the interior of that set yet. So I might do that when I actually take it somewhere. And one thing I do want to do as well, which I'm probably going to do next week, I might pop to, like, I might go on to like, the Lego store and buy like, Two by two studs and like another base plate will go underneath to make it a bit sturdier, especially with the daily bugle because that's so heavy. That's gonna be oh, that, that I carried 
I put that entire thing up there and that base plate nearly cracked on me. I didn't really crack, but it, it was bending under the weight. So I was like, nope. So when I take it down, I'm going to have to do it like layer by layer, I think. So I'm going to have to take like the roof off and the fourth floor, third floor and do it like that. And I might even edit it, so change the set so it's one fixed tower. And then I can have the Green Goblin flying at the top or something. I can do something like that. But yeah. And then the rest, the rest of it is literally like little itty bitty bits. Like the old Funko Pop here and there, the old little Lego set here and there, which... That won't be too bad to clean up to be honest. That won't be too bad to pack. So the shelves look bad. But, and to us, most of it is going to be the Funko Pops that we're going to pack. Once the Funko Pops have hacked, it's literally clothes and DVDs. And that's pretty much it. So, but the plan for the Funko Pop is I want to put them in like, tubs, like plastic tubs, and then tape around them. And then it just makes it a little easier. If they're not in boxes, I don't have to then spend three, four hours bubble wrapping every single one. I can just chuck them in that tub. They can't really float around too much. And it's a bit lighter as well. And I've also got boxes for other things. Like, I think I've actually got enough boxes to last me. And I've even gone out and got some more from work. Like every time I've got like a big, deep, like a decent box from work, I'm putting it in the back of my car. And I'm going to use it when I move. Because I'd rather have too many boxes than too few boxes. But yeah. Like one of the tubs underneath my bed is for Hiccup's hay. Which, if we now buy him smaller hay till we move... We can then buy him a whole new set of stuff because that's our plan. We want to buy him like a whole new cage soon, so I need to actually get that sorted. But we can always do that in August. Like I thought, but as with dogs, we can just go out, buy him a hutch, buy him a whole new set of stuff, and then just redo his hutch, and then he'll like that. Yeah. So yeah, my plan is when I try to get the DVD sorted. Move the shelves, move the bed forward. And then that's that sorted. And then my next goal is try to clear the Marvel shelf. Like try to clear all these. Because this is... We haven't actually got that much stuff. And most of it... But we have got some random stuff in here. Like it's like all like... Well, it looks like I've got a lot in the wardrobe. But it's actually just mainly clothes for one. But it's also like Lego sets as well. Which are in boxes. So my nose is a bit blocked like... My behavior is packing up, my note, nosebleeds have subsided. I've got like, they think I've got like bacteria in my nose, basically like an infection. So I've been giving cream for that, so I've just like applied some, but it has to go inside the nostrils, so and then it tickles inside my nose. It tickles the hairs in my nose. And my nose is like really itchy, but it's running at the same time, but I can't blow it because otherwise the cream comes out, and I'm just like, I've just got a sniff. It all back up. This is horrible, I know, but yeah, it's what I've got to do. This is like day three of the cream. It needs to be doing like ten days. I did put some on Friday night when I got it, like when I got home. Cause I was like, right, put some on now. I can start it. So technically, on the ninth at like eleven p.m. is when I is day ten, pretty much. But I'm going to class the 10th and do like an extra day. It's not like the 10th. Basically go until it clears up. And that if it if it stops, great. If it doesn't, back to the doctors. But yeah, I'll get all that worked out hopefully soon. But yeah. So I need to, another thing I need to get sorted is like this area. This, this is another area I'm dreading, like my PC area. But I'm going to wait until we can move Hiccup for that. Because we've taken Hiccup to the girlfriend's mum's. Just so he's out of the way for the move. And I also need to wait with waiting for, to move him before we move for two reasons. One, I can still have a PC. It means I can then get this all unplugged. My girlfriend won't touch it. I, she refuses to touch it because she knows if she damages it, I'll be upset. And the second reason is... She wants to pack all her baby odors. Which makes it easier when Hiccup's not here because obviously he's blocking the baby odors and means we can still get in and out of the room. I 
and we can still get in the wardrobe and all that. And yeah, he can't. He's just, it's better he's out of the way. And we'll have more floor space as well, so we can start stacking boxes in this corner. So once hiccups out the room and the PC sorted, we can store boxes so much easier. But, because this corner is literally perfect, but I need my PC in case my girlfriend is e-learning or in case I have training or anything like that. Just, I might say sod it in, because obviously I do want to clear it, but at the same time I'm just like, gaming. Like I've got four days off coming up next week, so if I do it after, if we do it on the Thursday, which is the 13th, I've only got a week to go. Which, to be honest, I'll be at work five of them days. So there's only two days. Maybe three. And the moving day will be hectic. And as I can't get the weekend off, so I'm going to be working at the same time. But I'm going to speak to my boss and see if I can do a closing shift. And I start at like 4pm, so at least then I can load my car up, get my PC moved over to the new place, and then go to work, as opposed to having like a 9am start. What I have to then load my car up at six in the morning because I'm, I'm not loading it up the night before with like a ps5 and a pc and all that because that's that's stupid even in the safest area on the planet that is stupid just a ps5 load put in the car overnight is stupid you have to load the pc and the tv and the monitors and all that so i then have to load it up by like six seven in the morning go to work then unload my car because i keeping it in my car all day in a car park a public car park is again very stupid so then have to unload my car find somewhere to put it at work work my shift then load my car back up and then drive to the new place which i have no idea where it is then unload my car so if, at least if i do a closing shift i can hopefully drop it all over there i say i've got work they'll be like oh yeah that's fine I can just literally chuck it in a random room, preferably the one I'll be going in, and then I can go from there. Yes, I won't get the bed set up straight away, but then the next day, I can have to be put on the clothes. If it's on the Saturday, then on the Sunday, I'll be like, right, I need the clothes all off that day so I can actually make my bed so I can actually sleep. So if I speak to my boss about that, but I need like a date because I, I don't know if it's a Saturday or the Sunday. I just know it's the Saturday or the Sunday. I know it's that weekend. And I'm definitely getting it off because Barbie and Oppenheimer both come out on that day. And my boss has booked the week off. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm, I'm not getting it off as holiday. I can't, I I'll be lucky to get one of them days off. So I'm sure if I speak to someone, I can arrange something. If I had like a certain day, but like preferably the day I move off would be nice. At least I could build my bed, build my wardrobe, get that all sorted. To be there, the necessities. The PC can wait till like the day after because that'll take me an hour, two hours. And obviously, Hiccup won't be there yet. We'll probably pick him up like the day, like a few days after we move. So we can then get the room sorted, unpack, go all the boxes away. Maybe like, right, okay, we're going to pick him up. But then, like, two weeks later, we then got to take him back down. So it's sort of an awkward one, but I don't want to keep him, as I'm, like, away from the house for a month, because otherwise it'd be weird. So we need to discuss that tonight, about our game plan for that. But I'm going to end this video here, just because I'm going to sort of do a bit of Minecraft. I've got some washing. I just finished about ten minutes ago. I heard the machine beep. So I need to get that outside before it rains. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. See ya!